Company. So uh, for those of you unaware, Young Thug was just arrested along with Gunner and 28 other people, I think, on 56 counts of the RICO. The interesting thing about this, though, is that Gunner is only mentioned to have a necklace on that, that reads slat, and his involvement is limited to none, right, in the case. Then we deal with Thug. He's mentioned in two counts of the indictment out of the 56 counts, um, one being involved with getting a car that was involved with a shooting and then one being um, an attempt on someone's life behind behind bars, right, him being at the forefront of that. So they're dealing with the RICO. There's a few things we want to point out when we speak about this because the approach to this case has been interesting. Usually the feds deal with RICO because it's very expensive a RICO case is. A RICO case for it to be funded, you have to have surveillance. You're looking at all kind of man hours and investigation hours and going through things. So it costs a lot of money for the state to involve themselves in that. And that's why the feds usually do it because they have unlimited funds. This RICO has been brought down by the state. Young Thug is in jail. Gun is in jail. A lot is going on. Let's speak about it. How you feel about it and what's going on with it? You know, man, I just I just think in the, right here in the city, man, a lot of time, a lot of people be reaching. This is the time of social media. Right. This is the time of everybody the investigators. Right. Everybody knows it. Everybody want to piece two and two together. Everybody mathematicians and shit. Right, know? right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody yeah. see a lot of shit going on. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like, too, that a lot of people try, the same way that people try to get um, game in the music business, I want to do a song with this purpose because it's going to get me more notoriety. I want right. to do this, this. I feel like when it comes to Atlanta, everything is like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Even, even when it comes to the judicial system. You see what I'm saying? Some people are tried different than other people because of their celebrity status. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, it's hard to to dictate and say what, how, how, how you gonna put it together because ain't no, it ain't no telling. Now, if it was federal, maybe I might look at it in a different aspect. Right. You see what I'm saying? I think the state is 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 overreaching. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think they reaching because again, look at Gunner's involvement. They have him because he has a chain, and on the song Fox Five says something about. We have 100 rounds or something crazy like that, right? They mentioning that. Now, let me explain to people why this is important. When you look up north and people, and this is just information, right? When you look up north in Takashi 6 9 situation, there's a reason they didn't put Jim Jones on that case. That reason being they didn't have anything substantial enough that will strengthen the case. Putting this on the case would, in fact, weaken the case. Because now what we can show is that the government is overreaching by involving Jim, Jim Jones, Jones when they have no proof of anything really taking place. And that's why you don't see some of these things happen when these charges come down. For them to grab Gunner, to me, makes the case a little more weaker. It's like, yo, you put him in on a Rico, he facing 5 to 20 because he got a necklace, right? And I ain't talking, you know, we street niggas, so I ain't, you know... If they looking and that's all they see, then they tell me about what I need to know. Yeah, they weak. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, damn, okay, what what the involvement in that is? I think in Atlanta, man, y'all got a lot of money. It seems like whoever's at the helm of it might got a budget that they can work with that, you know, put some people on some people's asses around here. Man, this is my, listen, man, this is... People and his nose is a motherfucker, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, y'all got this shit in video. Nigga, we going to prison about this yeah. shit. You know, y'all screaming Atlanta because it's cool. Nigga, we done went and done time about this shit. Niggas trying to come down here. We the reason why niggas want to rep Atlanta. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's a standpoint like this. That's a standpoint like that. Like, right. you ain't from here. Right. I mean, you can't go over here, pull up. You can't go. You can't find out no new story about Lil' Reggie. Right. Oh yeah, Lil Reggie, you know Lil Reggie was thirty. He was thirteen. He was, yeah, niggas yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, stories yeah, like yeah, that, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm saying yeah, these yeah, niggas, yeah. these niggas build their stories when these niggas get twenty, twenty one, right? When they got everything to lose, you know what I'm saying? They waited. They got everything. They damn near waited. They get money. You exactly. know what I'm saying? To, to put themselves in situation to lose it all. 
You can't prove yourself after you get money. It's over with. Whatever you got, once you get money, that's all you got when we're dealing with rep. Facts. Whatever your reputation is, unless you're going to crash out. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be one of them. But, yeah, I I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's talk about Thug, man. I know everybody want me to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. (laughs)